I'm Nathan Pinch, the project manager for the Mount Eden Single Line Enabling Works project. This project is being undertaken on behalf of City Rail Link Limited to enable the City Rail Link tunnel under the CBD in Auckland to connect with the North Auckland line at Mount Eden. Today we're in Mount Roscald and we're pre-building a 1 in 12 crossover for installation at Grafton. This allows trains to switch from one track to another track over the shortest length of track possible. This is a unique piece of infrastructure and it's the first time it's been installed in New Zealand. It's a pretty big item, in fact we refer to it as the beast. Installing track infrastructure in Auckland relies on us stopping the trains. Due to the fact that we're running commuter trains, the time that we have to close the network is very limited. So this scissors will be constructed here today and then we broken down into bite-sized chunks which will be lifted into site using a crane during the Queen's Birthday Blocker Line. G'day everyone, Matt Wadsworth here from the QRL Auckland Metro uh, team. We're here at uh, Grafton, it's Queen's Birthday weekend block of line and we're approximately three quarters of the way through putting in this uh, brand new 1 in 12 scissors crossover. We had the overhead wires slewed, the crane then lifted up the panels one by one, threaded them through the wires that have been slewed aside and now we're in the process of putting all the panels together, bolting them up and preparing them for welding. We've got 60 welds to do, which is a large number, and then we've got the tamper coming in tomorrow to bring it to the correct geometry. My name's Tian, I'm a project engineer on the Link, as part of the Link Alliance, constructing the CRL tunnels. The work's happening over Queen's birthday weekend is to allow for single line running, which is when we reduce the rail line, which is currently two rail lines, down to one. The purpose of that is to allow for CRL the space to construct the new rail line and tie it into the tunnels at Mount Eden. It's not common to pre-manufacture rail lines and bring them in, it's usually done on site and to be able to squeeze it into a three-day weekend is a huge engineering feat and it's very impressive. 